Hey, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, little video today. Um, another one of the mythic rares on MTGO crashed in price over the night, and it is uh, Falco Sparta Spara Pact Weaver. So this is one colorless, a green, a white, and a blue for a three-three flying trample creature. Um, comes in a play with the shield counter on it, and it says you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast spells from the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control in addition to paying their other costs. So basically, if you've got creatures with lots of counters on them, you can take that counter off and um, cast whatever's on top of your library, which would hopefully be another creature that comes in play with another counter, and you keep repeating, 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 and add infinitum. So how did I think to build this? Um, again... These deck techs I do, especially for the new set, are pure thought processes for me. There are things that I've thought that would work well in the decks, and I will test them on stream when I get a chance, and then I'll make changes to them and update things as we go along. So, But this is where I'll start from with um, Falco today. So, we have a series of lands, as usual. Um, four of each basic, and then some dual lands, so on and so forth. Nothing really too unremarkable here. A um, couple of things to note. We do got Ritu Ghazi in here to create some 1 1s. We've also got the other land, uh, Gavany Township, to chuck some plus 1 plus 1 counters around. These help, they put plus 1 plus 1 on each creature we control. So that gets us the chance, if we've got our General Falco in play, to get more creatures cast off the top of our library. So, a little bit on the land. Ramp, Mox Tantalite, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet. Um, I have just realized I haven't put Command Tower in here, which is a mistake. Command Tower needs to be in this deck as well, so um, we'll go and drop something in a minute and put Command Tower in. Um, actually, let me do it now while I'm thinking about it, just so I've got the deck list right when it goes up. There we go. Um, I'll probably drop something out of here that we don't actually need. Dum uh, dum dum dum. Uh, we'll think about it. I might just drop a land. We'll just drop a forest for now. There we go. Right, okay. See? Not infallible. Do these things on the fly as we go along. So, I then thought about things that worked well, giving us counters. So, what I put in the deck was a lot of the new cards from New Capenna um, that come and play with shield counters on. So, you'll see most of the shield counters in here. I also snuck in Broker's Ascendancy uh, at the end of your end step. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, and a loyalty counter on each planeswalker. I thought that could be quite useful. So that's the reason that's in there. Likewise, the other enchantment that chucks plus one, plus one counters around is Felidar Retreat. Um, chuck this in, mainly, you know, get the landfall trigger, put a plus one, plus one on everything. And at the end of the day, if things get tough, you've got the ability to make some cats instead of putting the plus one, plus ones around. So that's why that's there. The other thing that goes along with this is Hardened Scales. Hardened Scales, as we all know, has seen a lot of play in Modern. It's seen a lot of play in Commander. It's seen a lot of play anywhere it's been legal, including Standard when it's legal. Um, it's quite good in this deck. We've got lots of things that do plus one. They care about plus one, plus one counters, so it works out quite nicely. Um, you know, Getting an extra plus one, plus one counter means you can get two triggers off your Falco if you need to. So, hey, it all works. So... To start off with, along with the three mana ramps here, we put Birds of Paradise in, um, I've got Cultivate in, I have got Kadoma's Reach in here, just so we can go and get the land we need. Now, notice it's heavy at the three point and four point, the rest of the deck dies off from that point, so I'm not too worried, it's making sure we get up to four mana and we can cast most of our deck then. Um, so, we did that, and now we're like, right, how are we going to make this work? So long time ago in um arms block there were these things appeared outlast put a, some mana cost tap it put a plus one plus one counter on this creature whenever you activate herald of antenza put a one one warrior creature in token of play that's that one so that's okay but some of the other ones get good so you got anything with a plus one plus one counter on it those creatures have first strike um can get flying with the Asban Falconer and can get lifelink with a battle priest. Also, if I can find it, here it is. Long shot squad gives some reach. And I can't remember the name of the last one. There's another one somewhere. Tusker Captain, there you go. 
they got a plus one plus one counter on them they get trample so we do start building some quite nice little creatures to run around the board with um so to back all this up we've got random cars so we've got backup agent We've got Luminarch Aspirant from um, Kaldheim. And Offenza, Kin Tree Spirit. Yeah, Bolster is also quite a good mechanic to have. Um, choose a creature with the least toughness, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Gives us some free counters. I'll put Broker's Veteran in. Yeah, when it dies, put Shield Counter on something. Yeah, it's okay. Um, incubation Jury is here. It gets plus one, plus one counters. Also helps with the mana fixing. Um, Katilda's here, get to six, put a load of plus one, plus one counters on everything we control. And notice humans, any humans we have in play. Uh, we've got a few humans, there's not hundreds, but there's a few kicking around. Um, get to tap for mana as well, so that helps as well. Simic Ascendancy's in here for a bit of a laugh. Um, we can just make some plus one, plus one counters. If we get 20 counters on it, we win the game. Gives us a backup win condition. Don't expect that to come off that often. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. It'll be there. Uh, wing shield agents there, mainly because it gives the shield counter, comes in with shield counter. Um, blight rigging, so I'm still trying out the hideaway lands from the new set, from the hideaway enchantment, sorry, from the new sets. We're still trying that. Growing rights to help, you know, a little bit, get some extra mana if we need it. Cheaper version of um, Gaia's Cradle. I've chucked in Yin Yang, uh, Wildcrafter, because um, yeah, anything with a plus one, plus one on it becomes tappable for mana, so we can't complain at that. Kadoma's Reach, the captain I've already spoken about. Jade Light Rangers here, just because it you know, can explore and explore again. You get some plus one, plus one counters itself, so that's fairly good. Um, Topri Stomper is an additional kind of land search creature for one of a better phrase but it also doubles up eventually as a blocker and attacker so that helps and we can make it bigger by putting plus one plus ones on it i just like fish i do a lot of fishing when i'm not playing magic so you know we figured we might as well get the fish card in um and they get some tokens amongst it so you know we'll see what happens um hadana's climb same for reason as the other one but it chucks plus one plus one counters around until it flips note you can just chuck plus one plus ones at everything and make sure that none of the creatures have three on save it flipping but then at the end of the day if you need it to flip and do the transform and what have you it's all good yeah it's okay i'm playing group blue green there's blue green in the deck we'll play oko just for the sake of oko um Condrix commands in, um, we can bounce a creature, chuck some plus one plus ones around, um, shuffle some cards into our library if we need be, it's all good. Uh, we're going through them. Uh, shield makes, it comes in with shield counter, or no other reason. Swooping protector, because it comes in a shield counter, no other reason. One day of judgment, just to clear the board if we need to. Spark double comes in, um, if you copy a creature, you get some plus one plus one counter on it, so that kind of helps already. And obviously, if it cap with something that isn't a legend, um, it doesn't become legendary. Undercover Optive, same idea. But it comes in with Shield Counter on it. Elegant Entourage. Um, I've decided to try this one out. Under your control, target creature gain. Other than that, it gets plus one, plus one, and gains trample until the end of turn. So we thought we'd give it a go. And it's a 4-4 four, for four, 4, basically, so it's not the worst thing. Explosive Vegetation, I mentioned. Oh, excuse me. Um, Glissomonger for some treasure. Long shot squad for the reach. Um, Rampant Rejuvenator. I was kind of hoping to play this when I had hardened scales in play or somewhere to put lots of plus one plus one counters on it. Because when it dies, we can go and put all the basic lands into play. That was the idea of that. Um, Voice of the Vermin just basically comes in with a plus one a shield counter on it. And then it makes creatures have base power and toughness 4 4 until the end of the turn. So that's quite interesting. Not sure. I haven't played Brago in a deck for years, so I figured we'd chuck Brago in here and see what happened. But no other reason. It's also a fly, so it's quite good. Um, Lenor's in here to chuck some plus one, plus one cameras around. Helps with the casting. Rabble Rousing, again, same reason I wanted to keep on trying out the Hideaway Enchantments. Archangel of Thune, if we gain some life. It's got a life link, we can chuck plus one, plus one cameras around. There's not a lot of life gain in here, to be fair, but I figured it was worth trying out Archangel. Um, Cather's Crusade is fantastic in this deck. Um, put a creature in a play, put a plus one, plus one on everything. 
put a creature in play, put another plus one, plus one on everything. Yeah, and you should be able to draw, cast most of your deck off this with a bit of luck. Same with Erdos, so that comes into play and chucks a load of plus one, plus ones around. Time Wipe is another Wrath Effect, so that's our second one. Um, it also bounces a creature back to our hand before we cast it, so that's quite good. Ajani's here because he chucks around plus one, plus one counters. Um, Rosalek is here because it, when yeah, it comes into play, it puts a couple of plus one, plus one that's on another target creature. And then you get to proliferate when it dies, so not the worst thing in the world. Going forward, um, Spectral Warden, I'm not sure. It was cheap. I have no idea what it does, but we'll work out as we go along. But it gets two shield counters, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, Consecrated Sphinx is here just for some extra card draw. Chase is here because whenever I draw my second card each turn, I get to put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. Again, not sure this is going to work. Don't think I've got that much second draw. In fact, I haven't got any second draw. So we're going to take this out now and we're going to replace it with something useful. Um, let's chuck the 26 landing. We'll put Command Beacon in. That's better. Right. Um, Primal for bounties here, creatures plus one plus one counts, bit of life gain, which does trigger obviously. Does help with the Archangel as well. Um Pumbler's here some some shield counter on it. Yeah. Fine. Clean up crew, enters the battlefield. I'm not sure why I played this, but meh. it's a bit of removal. Takes out an enchantment, takes out an artifact. Okay, yeah, gain some life. We can bounce it in and out a little bit with Brago, so we get repeat effect. That's fine. Um, Dragon Lords here is to stop things being people casting things during my turn, so it helps a little bit. Aversense gives everything indestructible. My Gin of Towering Might comes into play. You can take the indestructible counter off it and chuck a load of plus one, plus one crowners around, so that sounds good. Great Henge. You all know what this does by now if you don't then where have you been for the last three years um yeah this it's automatically puts plus one plus one of counters on creatures when we cast them and then to find it all off um hydroid crassus gain some life draw my deck get a load of plus one plus one counters on it so that's basically the deck where i'm going with falco um i'm not sure how well it's going to work but we'll be testing it out stream sometime um maybe well, it won't be Tuesday, so it won't be streaming on Tuesday. And hopefully you've watched the other video I've put up. Well, I'll put up tomorrow to replace the stream. Because this is going up Monday and there's a surprise video going up on Tuesday. Which replaces the stream because I'm not streaming. So maybe we'll test that out Thursday night and we'll see what happens then. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this. I hope you all stay safe, take care. And I'll see you on Twitch, which is linked below along with the deck list for this. Um, sometime soon on my Twitch stream when I'm next streaming. Thanks for watching this. Take care. Peace out. Take care. Bye.